Hello there everybody and welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Thanks for joining me for our next Christmas beer review, which is this one. This one is Delirium Christmas or Delirium Noel. I think it gets called in uh, some regions. Got some House of Ales, paid £4.60 for it. Not seen this in supermarkets at all. Um, it's obviously, it's 10% it's ABV. It's a strong Belgian beer. Get out. Let's have, just have a look first. I've got to ruin it, aren't I? But lovely little Christmas scene with their little pink elephant and nice Christmassy foiled. Very nice. Um, yes, yeah, so this is 10% ABV. They do have a 12% barrel aged version, which I've not been able to get hold of. I might pull that terribly, but you know. Um, 10% ABV, this is one of their strongest beers. Very lousy pour. Very lousy. It has poured a... It's like a mahogany colour, like almost like a light mahogany colour with a massive um, light tan head. It's foamy. It's going to dissipate quite quickly, I thought, because there's um, the alcohol content in there should make it dissipate quite nicely. Lots of nice carbonation happening in that glass, though. Really enjoy this brewer and their delirium range. They have some fantastic, fantastic beers. My first time drinking this one, so I am really, really looking forward to this. Let's get the aroma, shall we? smells unmistakably Belgian I think it's probably the yeast make it smell like that smells strong although this isn't, isn't a barrel aged version it's got almost got that and it's probably partly to do with this smelling the strength of the beer it's almost got that barrel aged aroma But it's nice. I've got you're getting a bit of sweet malt, a bit of fruit coming through, a bit of dark fruit. It's got the traditional kind of um, raisin, figs, plums, those sorts of aromas coming through. But yeah, strong, sweet, little bit of spice in the background. It smells great. Let's taste it, shall we? Looking forward to this one. Cheers, everybody. Good beer. That is a nice tasting beer. It is malty. Um, taste the strength. Get a little bits of toffee flavour coming through with that uh, malt flavour. little bit of um it is quite sweet so you're getting those brown sugar flavors coming through oh it is a really good beer um nicely bitter at the end yeah so flavor wise multi little bit of toffee flavour coming through, bit of brown sugar, like I say you can feel the strength of the brew quite quite easily, a little bit of spice in there, you have got those dark fruits, very plummy actually from a dark fruit perspective, very plummy indeed. Quite dry. Quite a drying beer in the mouth. You are getting that 
not so much when I'm swallowing, but I'm feeling the warmth of this beer actually in my mouth. So the warmth that is in the mouth, it's a lot with a lot of these types of beers. You really don't taste the strength of it, the alcohol warmth until you start to swallow it. And I'm not getting that. I mean, I'm nearly done with it, and I'm, I'm not getting that warmth down to my stomach. I don't think it says anything particularly special on here. No. No, just carotide. Uh, brewed with water, malts, hops, yeast. That's all is in there. Wouldn't say anything about what to expect, what the hops are. No further information on there. So yeah, from the aroma, it's rather it's fairly complex. You could tell, like I say, you could tell it was a, a bit Belgian style straight away. Smelt strong. Um, lots of dark fruits as well. More dark fruits on the aroma than I'm getting through on the flavour of it. Um, you can smell the sweetness in it. Flavour wise, yeah, you're malty, your, your little toffee not coming through, brown sugar not coming through, a um, little bit of your dark fruits, predominantly your plum coming through, and just on the on the edge, just a little bit of spiciness. Nicely dry, gently bitter, very nice. I am going to score that 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 for managed beer reviews. Uh, I have at the moment uh, three more Christmas beers left. So unless I can find any, any more, three more beers and that's Christmas beers reviews out for another year. Um, so yeah, uh, 9 out of 10 for this one, the Delirium Christmas. If you are drinking tonight, please enjoy it until the next review. Cheers everybody.